Hey guys, I don't know why I need this on. Hey guys, it is Thursday. We are doing tango this hour. We have two new patterns for you. Um, one is called uh, fans. Now, for those of you that are coming from the beginning to the intermediate class, you've done what we call open fans. And that's our entry level pattern into the world of fans, right? Um, but today we're gonna be doing actually a little bit more advanced. It's a basic pattern, but it's a little bit more complex pattern. So I'm going to, we're going to be doing fans today and we're going to be doing contra rock. So I'm going to bring Na out and we're going to dance through these two patterns and then I'll break them down for you. So the contra rock is just this. It's a rock step and a walk out, a pivot and a walk. A rock step and a walk out, a pivot and a box step. Not a pivot, sorry, a box step. I'm going to do that again a little bit further away from the camera. I'm not sure if we got cut off. So it is a rock, step, walk, a pivot, walk, walk, a rock, step, walk. And now this is a tango close. Boom, boom, boom. So that's the contra rock. We'll break that down in a minute. I just want you to see it and have a visual. The other one is what we call tango fans, right? And there are multiple variables and variations on this but our basic fundamental, and when I say basic fundamental, I don't mean easy or simple or beginner, I mean fundamental like um, foundation of a house or a building is fundamental for the operation of that building to remain standing, right? So when we say fundamental, we mean like super important. So this is a fan, it goes go quick, quick, slow, slow, go quick, quick, slow, slow, go quick, quick, slow. Now I will say real briefly, and I'm gonna put Na on the spot here for just a second because she doesn't know I'm gonna do this. Come back. So if you have done Argentine tango, an American style ballroom fan is not an ocho. They're very similar but they are literally two different dances in how we think about the way they move. So if I did this lead in, but I led Na to do an ocho, what you'd see would be a very round, swivelly, the entire body all the way to the neck and the base of the head is rotate, right? But in Argentine tango, we have a bit more freedom as far as where the bodies connect. In ballroom dancing, we're trying to find a spot, connect up with that spot and not have that spot move on us but stay connected when we go so when we do a fan in ballroom dancing it is purely an operation of the shoe and what you're going to see is as we go in we're going to freeze the picture for a moment here right now what you're going to see is na turn her na's going to turn her right foot and you'll see the rest of her body react kind of in a um, sequential order boom 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 so she's going to turn the shoe first and then everything else flips around. What I want you to notice there is that Na is in the exact same position right now as if we had stood here and did our first step in promenade. Na is in the exact same position now that she was in that fan. In other words, we don't dance promenade, camera, we don't dance promenade hip to hip, side by side. We have our centers connected. Right, so promenade is this position. So if you see that spot right there, I'm gonna leave Na into the fan right now, and you're gonna see that. ba -dum, ba ba da The only thing that's different between now and the picture you just saw is my leg. Promenade, end of the fan. So that's super important for you to, to know about that move. All right, I'm gonna take you through the man's and the ladies' parts. You've seen it demonstrated, thanks now. You've seen it demonstrated. I'm gonna break it down for you just a little bit. We're not gonna get overly technical, which you're more focused on the pattern for the moment. So let's first go back to the contra rocks. Contra, what does contra mean? Contra means opposition, right? So in contra, what that means is if I am stepping with my left foot, okay, this is my left foot, by the way, the right side of my body will move toward the left foot. They're in contra opposition. Left foot steps forward, right foot, right body goes to it. Left foot steps back, the right side of the body goes to it. Right foot goes back, 
the left side of the body goes to the leg rather than paralleling it, right? So that's what contra means. So the pattern itself is rock, step, walk, pivot, walk, walk. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> rock, step, walk, back, side, together. I'm going to do that again facing the other direction. Rock, step, walk, pivot, walk, walk. Rock, step, walk, half a box. So let's be clear, coming out of the first contra rock is different than coming out of the second one because we're doing a different thing. One of them we're doing a pivot, the other one we're doing a tango close, right? The lady's foot positions on this, pretty much the exact opposite of the man. She's going rock, step, walk, pivot, walk, walk. Rock, step, walk, tango, close. Now when we take all the crazy styling and actions out of it, that is what there is. And that is really what I want you focused on right now, is that pattern. Because when we add the styling in, the pattern's not going to change. So you have to really be locked into that pattern. Real quick, I'm gonna dance that one more time with na, so you can see it with all the whoop you do, but don't get distracted. Go back and watch a video the second or the third time and notice how our legs and feet stay very simple. You notice we're taking heel leads every time we go forward. We're toe releasing every time. We're just doing basic technique, right? But now you're gonna see like a finished product of contra rock and walk, pivot and come out. Contra rock and walk, box, boom, boom. So that might be the finished product, but when you go back and look at the film, you're just gonna see we're doing the exact same thing I've demonstrated for you. Because you're home alone right now, we really need to, on this pattern, really stick to what are the feet doing. The body things, they'll wait till the next time we're together to really fine tune those. All right, then the other pattern, the fan. Now, the easiest way to understand this is when we do waltz or foxtrot and we do a box step, we do forward, side, together, okay? Well, what we're gonna do when we go into the fan is this step is going to go backward instead of together. We call this an open left turn. A left box step is a closed, because our feet close box step. When we go into the fan, we are doing an open left turn, okay? So what we're doing in the fan is an open left turn, recover, an open left turn, recover, and a tango close. So I'm doing open left turn, recover, open left turn, recover, tango close, All right? Do that one more time for the man's part. So he's doing open left turn, recover, open left turn, recover, tango, close. I'm gonna take that through with Na in just a second, but the girl's part, other than when she does the swivel, it's pretty much doing the same as the man. So she's going to do her open left turn, her back side and step forward, and then the foot and the knee and the leg, that one, are going to swivel. We're not turning the whole body, we're just focused on that. Now we're gonna step out and square up to the man. Boom. Then we're gonna repeat that same thing again. Open left turn and fan. We're gonna come out and recover, square up to our partner, and tang, go, close. So the girl's part is open left, foot swivel, recover. Open left, foot swivel, recover, tang, go, close. In essence, these two patterns are fairly simple. It's the body dynamics that make it a bit more difficult, but we really have to get feet first on these two little patterns before we can worry about the body dynamics. All right, I'm gonna dance one more time through that fan so that you can see both the man's and the lady's part in action, right? So we have open left turn foot swivel, recover, tick, tick. Open left turn, foot swivel, recover, and tango close. 
Now, one last little thing, because I just noticed now I wasn't doing it, so we're going to bust her right on tape. Remember, look where you're going. So if I was stepping this way before the foot swivel, that's where my nose would be, nose over toes. And when that foot turned, it would be a good idea for me to turn my head at the same time. All right, because that's kind of where we get our styling from, it's just common sense, right? So as Nob does her foot swivel, her head's gonna come around. When she does the recovery, it's gonna go back. So that helped her do those actions. Foot swivel, head turn, body, head, and tango close. All right, so guys, I know that seems a little overly simple, but where we are, these patterns are actually very vital patterns because both of these patterns we use all the way up to the professional level of dancing. These are not like learn them and chuck them away later. These will be the foundation of the greatest bulk of what you do in tango as you advance up through the levels, the elements within these. All right, guys, thank you very much. Have a great one.